everyone! It's another day of Casual Cali and it's so cold and windy. Um, okay, anyways. Alright, so today I am taking you guys to one of the cheaper grocery stores in Japan. It's a chain called the OK, OK Mart? OK. So if you end up living in Japan and have to uh, look for a cheap grocery store, uh, yeah, this is probably your best bet. Um, there are other chains, but they're kind of like the Gelson's. Um, they don't have a Trader Joe's. Darn, darn, darn! I want Trader Joe's so bad. Um, they don't have Whole Foods, so this is like my go-to. Um, there are local markets around every neighborhood that specializes in um, certain products. So one, one uh, supermarket might have cheaper meats and another supermarket down the street might have cheaper vegetables. So you just kind of have to know and find out where you can go to get the best deals on what you need. So this is okay. Let me flip it around. Yay! <laughs> Are you okay? All right. Now, I've never taken a camera inside a shopping center and of course, um, I think I think I might get shut down, but I'm going to try just for you guys to go in there and um, get some footage of some stuff that I want to show you. So here we go. First of all, let me try to do most of the talking out here. First of all, it's a two-story uh, shopping grocery store. Two-story grocery store. Two-story grocery store. Here we go. So one thing is, as a lot of the grocery work, actually this one in particular. So this grocery store, you put everything in a red basket and when you check out, they put the items in a green basket. So that's how the people here, the workers, can tell if you've actually paid for your items. And um, you know how like back home you'll have Ralph's or any of the supermarkets, you can just go in and out of the uh, checkout aisles. Um, well, it's it's different here. They actually close and chain off everything, so it's kind of harder for shoplifters to just run in and get what they need. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I find myself in the alcohol section. Ironically, it's the quiet. It's one of the quietest sections here in the supermarket. So, um, this is their aisle of beers. It's not that lo it's not a lot, but their um, domestic beers like Asahi, Santori, Ebisu, Sapporo. That's a lot. And of course, on the other side, you have your Jinros, um, and then your Shochus. Yummy, 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 yummy. But no alcohol for me today. I have to get um, ham. I have to get ham, which is actually downstairs. Um, the first floor over here, um, it's just a lot of the dried goods, nothing refrigerated. Um, anything that's considered fresh is below. Um, <laughs> that's where most of the fun items are. But I'm gonna take you down um, Oh gosh, where can I take you guys down? Oh my gosh, their pet section is so cute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I think their pet food is actually um, yummier than the ones back home. Ah, see my friend. Where is it? Cat food and dog food, and and look, diapers for dogs. And then like here are some of the treats, so cute. Like I wish I was a dog, cause I would totally eat it. Oh, and I know we have these at home. Um, Caesars. And um, if you can tell the price range for all of these, it's actually pretty good, especially since the dollar is strong these days. So, um, yeah. Oh, they have science diet too. Okay, you're done. Yeah, <laughs> you're bored. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's go up. Let's go downstairs. Um, wait, do I really need anything from over here? I need ham. I need. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> did you guys watch my episode on Frosted Flakes? I have milk at home and now I just need to get cereal, but I kind of don't want to eat the cereal. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Mm, I think... Do you guys see anything that you guys are interested in? Look how cute, it's their tissue box. I would be so happy using tissues from that box. Okay, let's go downstairs. So I need ham, drinkable yogurt. Mm. Oh my gosh, I feel, oh yes. Okay, I'm going to need pork. Pizza is relatively good price. Um, it's usually per oh, see what I'm it's usually um, per like the size is really small. Okay, right. <laughs> wait, you guys. Um, I know, I know. All of you guys have eaten um, cantaloupes, melons at some point, but. I'm asking you, have you ever seen a cantaloupe or a melon for? That's right. It's a it's approximately nineteen dollars. Nineteen or eighteen dollars for a melon. Yeah, I miss California. Um, let's see. Oranges, four oranges for like three dollars. Um, a lemon for a dollar seventy eight and wait <laughs> okay wait hold on yeah like grapes I can just go to the 99 cent store and get grapes for 99 cents but here it's like three or four dollars it's really expensive and um, strawberries six strawberries are like four dollars I'm not joking. Um, don't even get me started on the blueberries. So, um, okay, all right. Let's go, let's go. But bean sprouts are pretty cheap. Bean sprouts are 28 cents. Oh yeah. Check it out. So you can eat all the bean sprouts that you want. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so the bread section, um, this local market has really pretty good bread. Oh, and another thing I want to show you guys. Um, this, this thing. That means it's 3% off. 
<laughs> three percent I guess it can make a difference um, there's another sticker that I want to show you guys so if you're ever in Japan and you see the sticker you know that item is half off and that includes a lot of the sushi and uh, seafood so that's when you can get really great deals um, but here's some sliced bread Slice bread is a bit expensive. Um, <laughs> um, what else? What else would you guys be interested in? Um, you know what? I'm actually surprised. No one stopped me. I've gotten a lot of stares, but no one stopped me. So, <laughs> all right, ham, 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 and oh, sliced cheese. Okay. So the ham that I'm looking for, um, um, oh my gosh, they don't have it. Wait, yes they do, yes they do, hold on, okay. Oh, and guess what? The ham is 3% off. Yay! Um, it's pretty yummy, um, and this ham you can make, um, you can stuff it in onigiri, onigiri, onigirazu. Um, it's that seaweed, rice, little snack ball that you've seen a lot of the Japanese people eat in anime. Um, okay, my next thing is pork. Oh my gosh, I'm just taking you guys grocery shopping with me. I'm so sorry, it's been 11 minutes. You guys can stop at any time. Um, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm just so happy I can like be with you guys. Okay, pork. You know what? Um, I'm not gonna get pork here. I'm gonna get pork at a different grocery store because it's actually really cheap over there. So, no pork from here. But I will get their sliced cheese, and sliced cheese is actually pretty expensive. Let me see. Gosh, I miss Trader Joe's. So cheese. So there's a certain brand of sliced cheese that I like. This one, this one is about a dollar eighty nine for twelve slices. Um, I don't know. Have prices changed back in the states? Let me know what sliced cheese costs over there. Um, but this sliced cheese tastes really good, so I'm always my go-to. And we all need our probiotics, so I'm going to get drinkable yogurt. Kind of like kefir. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's it. Um, oh my gosh, check this out. You will never find this <laughs> back in California. The eggs are just sitting out, not even refrigerated, and it's gonna sit out the whole day. And that's how they sell eggs. For some reason, they don't need to be refrigerated, which when I first got here, I thought it was very interesting. I'm like, food poisoning. Oh, okay. Their ice cream section. Um, gosh, I miss the gallons and buckets of ice cream that we would find at home. They have these small, small packs, like. Like, you can't, <laughs> you can't keep these in the fridge for more than two days, three days. I would eat all of them. Okay. Um, what else? Let me go to... What's like something gross for you guys? Because I'm sure you guys are wondering, what's like the grossest thing I've ever seen? There's this thing that I... Well, first of all, sometimes they keep live clams, so you'll see them packaged, like packaged like this. But they'll be moving, so um, that's one of the... Oh, ooh. okay, hold on, what is this? So it's a clam, but it looks like snails. Um, I'm not a... <laughs> they have this thing called a sea cucumber but it seriously looks like a sea slug and if you Wikipedia it, it's not even a vegetable, it's an animal and people eat that. I know, I know, 
it's everyone eats something gross. I'm sure California has something gross too. I've never seen it. <laughs> all right. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, if you guys also want to comment, what is the grossest thing you have ever eaten? Um, let me know. Let me know. Or if there's something really gross here that you'd like me to try, let me know. I'll take you guys with me. And I will try it just for you. Okay. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty... Oh. Yeah, if you go to any of the Asian fish markets or Asian markets back home, you'll probably see the relatively same things. Okay, I'm gonna go check out. Thank you so much, you guys, for being with me. I promise you I will not take this long grocery shopping next time. Um, next week is Valentine's Day, so I might take you guys uh, around the, what is it? What is it? The department store's uh, collection of chocolates because on Valentine's Day here, it's a little bit different. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time!